Hello everyone, I'm Xiaomi Chi from PRC and firstly, I want to thank you for organizing this meeting. Here, I will give a simple talk, simple talk on the scientific operation of the Chinese uh, airplane in Antarctica. The airplane was named Snow Eagle and uh, deployed in 2015. And after that, the scientific operation was operated uh, under an international project, ASCAP and uh, ASCAP PL or ASCAP 2. We have US, uh, UK, Australia colleagues, and, and also India uh, colleagues. And here I saw many persons involved in the, uh, in the project. And my talk including four parts, and the first one is the motivation. Uh, originally, we have a primary and fundamental purpose is, uh, to fill the largest data gap in Antarctica. As we know, after bad map to PL is a very large data gap, data gap left in Antarctica. And in 2016, Jameson published paper and used the most sensitive data to propose a very large subglacial lake in this area and the canyons linking the coast uh, linking the coast and to the interior. So our motivation is also to identify and uh, survey the subglacial lake and the canyons. Other primary scientific questions we may contribute to including what is the record of the city expansion in PL? What are the global tectonic implications? How much water flow across the catchment to the canyon lakes? Uh, what is the water circulation pattern in the PL lake? How much water flow from the gutter system to the coast? And uh, what is the impact of the fast water flux? Later, the survey was extended to MRISF and ZB, and uh, even Titanium. So, uh, some new motivation was, uh, was also expanded. The airplane was named either BT67 airplane. It's the same with the Polar 5, 6, and JKB. Radar gravity meter and magnetometer were all include, integrated in the airplane and the table, so the instrument detail. The airplane can be, can achieve a flight in more than with more than two thousand kilometers, and with normal flight at a height of six hundred meters and at a speed of three hundred kilometers per hour with two to three persons in the airplane. The airplane was operated by KBA in Calgary, so each season the airplane flight from Calgary to Punta and then go into the Antarctic. The first stop is Rosera Station, then fly to South Pole. Later, depending on the payload, the airplane can fly to Zhongshan Station directly or fly from the South McMurdo Station and the KC Station and go to Zhongshan Station finally. And we have a very big field campaign in program since scary and all logistical support were provided by Zhongshan Station. All these containers in the camp provide accommodation, cooking, storage, data processing, and we have two GPS based stations and one magnetic base station, and we do gravity tie between Zhongshan Station and uh, Skyway. Uh, for the uh, base station operation, we need two to three persons, and for Light operation, we also need uh, two to three persons. And uh, every year, uh, we have three crews from KBA, and the science team uh, 
keeps four to six persons. The first three things we have a UTIG, two persons from UTIG to provide help for the scientific operation. But in two thousand in the last two seasons, especially in 2018 to 2019, and Jimmy Greenbaum uh, had just uh, joined us in the first uh, step uh, of the season. So, the, at the, at the uh, second stage step, and we only have three scientific, scientific person in the field. And in 2019 and 2020, and then, uh, the UTIG, uh, pro provide remote uh, sense remote uh, help. The 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 team is all uh, all you know, for all from PRC, including four to six persons. They uh, they provide refueling, communication, transportation, and then uh, generator and vehicle maintenance. And we at the beginning of the season. We need two to three days to install the instrument that, uh, and to test uh, the system. And we finish uh, data QC in the field, including download, processing, and archive. For the seven hours airborne and base station fly survey, and we need about uh, five hours to do the data processing and this uh, figure shows the field data processing system. And uh, until now, we finished five Austrian seasons survey before 2020. A uh, different, different color show the different uh, seasons uh, data coverage. And we feel the PL and in, uh, very well, and uh, we also collect uh, very systematic data over every itself. The black uh, box, so the QBQ, QBQ uh, data, uh, data uh, we collaborated with Australia and uh, Korea and France and France, except for our international collaborators. Collaborators, we also have uh, uh, Chinese University and Chinese Institute collaborators too. And now we have 175,000 kilometer data. Relying on these data we collected, we build the PL band topography DM with 500 meters resolution. And this this data were were published in ESSD. We inverse the bathymetry beneath the MRI itself and evaluate the basal assays in tandem. Uh, one month ago, uh, we published a paper to uh, characterize the lake snow eagle and the uh, sediment uh, sediment. We also inverse the geothermal heat flux uh, in the PL and uh, uh, did uh, ice flux, flux cal cal calculation along uh, the Chinese inland traverse. And we also developed some measured uh, data analysis method, including uh, characterizing the roughness of the bed and uh, uh, to extract uh, internal layers and uh, extract the bad uh, rock interface. Uh, this is, this slide is sent by Damien Greenbaum. He is now working with his colleague from Grenoble and uh, to inverse the uh, basimetry basimetry in Georgia Five Coast uh, with gravity mid gravity data. Okay, the final slide and also the most important slide, as my understand as, and as my prospect, in the later five years, Chinese will still focus on the Princess Elizabeth's land in this area, 
including uh, some flight over this region and uh, over Lake Snow Eagle for the uh, drilling location and uh, uh, in every ISF to monitor its change, especially the grounding line and grounding line and in place charge mountain for the geology motivations and uh, along the inland traverse, uh, it's a traditional uh, traverse and uh, every season uh, we will repeat flight it and in the coastal very uh, data space area, we also need some flight to fill the data gap. For searching the oldest size in Z B area, we also need uh, to fly to both talk Z B domain and uh, regions. And but this uh, depending on the density or capability from test station and current station. And the uh, Victoria land, this area, uh, as you know, China is be building a new station here. So if the uh, station can be constructed in the later one or two years, uh, we also have possibility to survey the Victoria land. And for NB land sector, this is a very important uh, area for this project and uh, the data here is very sparse. So we will try to try to achieve two to three flight uh, over here. But uh, it depend it uh, there are many uncertainties uh, so we we can try but we may we can we cannot prom promise to finish it. And in West Antarctic seat we also may Sorry, this area, but uh, uh, it's uh, very hard. As a summary, I think uh, a potential contribution with priority from high to low to the range project, I think the first one is the PL MRI sector. With existing data and uh, future new survey, we can, we can contribute very detailed and very good uh, uh, data in this sector in the Sakhalin and the Georgia Five Coast, and we have some exist this data can contribute to the range. In NB land sector, we will try to make some flight over there. And in Victoria land sector, there is a little exist exist data, and uh, if we ha can have some new survey here. We also can contribute to the range. In the uh, in the other other areas, we can use <coughs> maybe we can in other area in the India and the Pacific sector we may can use the QPQ uh, measure to make uh, to survey some coastal area, uh, but the QPQ detail is can't be decided until now. And you and the final is the West Antarctic ice sheet. Okay, I finish my talk. Thank you. And uh, here is some acknowledgement to the to some uh, institute and uh, to some persons to help the ASCAP to project. Thank you very much.